Geminis, welcome to your weekly love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from August 22nd to the 31st, but of course, whenever you come across it is when you're guided to watch it. So just keep that in mind, guys. Time is, time is not linear, okay? All right, guys. So Geminis, I got so many messages for you when I was meditating and prepping the deck that I actually had to write it all down, okay? Because <laughs> I knew I was going to forget. You guys gave me so many freaking messages, and I'm not surprised, Geminis. Also, you guys tend to make me talk a lot, so you guys were talking to me a lot. Um, for those who are new to my channel, I always go over my meditative session, and then we, always, then we go ahead and do the tarot reading, okay? So... <laughs> because we had a lot. Let me just start going down the list here. Uh, oh yeah, the first thing I heard was stick to it. Stick to it, Geminis. Take that as it resonates. Keep in mind, energy that I pick up on in my meditative sessions or, um, is pertaining to energy in and around you, okay? So just keep that in mind. It can pertain to, per yeah, wow, Geminis. <laughs> you're making me want to get it out. Maybe you're dealing with an Aries because Aries had that effect on me too. Maybe your thought, the thought, Jesus, throat chakra is just really really open right now so keep in mind guys these messages in the meditative session can pertain directly to you or people in your energy field or people energetically attached to you even if you're not really spending time with them okay so yeah i heard stick to it just stick to it gemini's i do for this energy of like just like heavy pace heavy pace fast pace i gotta move i got i like i gotta move i gotta move i gotta move it's like someone i think has maybe taken a lot of time to do something or get something done and now it's like crunch time that's what it is it's crunch time don't give up stick to it <clears throat> there's a throat chakra guys then i actually saw a tree and i saw tree roots like expand far and i mean far far very quickly some of you guys are getting more in touch with your ancestors your ancestral roots some of you are discovering more about your family <clears throat> excuse me like looking into your family history uh where you come from some of you are also um coming into some family secrets some family secrets are being revealed here okay um so keep that in mind a uh, very very heavy ancestral family ties oh it actually all of a sudden i just got health too what's this about health oh health is improving okay thank you health is improving for a lot of you who might have been struggling with that recently or have had people in your family specifically who struggled with health that they're on the mend things will be looking a lot better okay <clears throat> i know i know um oh yeah oh that was the other thing sorry i'm like looking down my list gemini's there's also this energy of news spreading okay news spreading people are talking and then i heard secrets right after i picked up on that energy so people could just be gossiping or maybe some stuff you've been trying to keep hidden some secrets you've been trying to keep hidden are now coming to light or this could be secrets someone kept from you and it's coming to light people are talking okay essentially people are talking news is spreading there's no stopping this news from spreading and to be honest gemini's whether they're your secrets or someone else's secrets it seems like they're really supposed to come out during this time it seems like it's just supposed to happen that way, all right? So just try to roll with it if, if it's your secrets coming out. <clears throat> then I heard birds of a feather flock together. Now, I thought that was really interesting because with that energy, I'm like, you know, I have all these little things written down, so I don't forget to talk about it. But I remember picking up on that energy when I heard that phrase. And Gemini's, again, you or someone you're connected with, realizing they've been hanging out with the wrong birds, okay? <laughs> realizing, oh, my feathers don't match their feathers. Oh, how did I not notice that before? <laughs> oh, why am I flashing back to something so nerdy? Okay. This is a total nerdy thing, guys, and I apologize, but for whatever reason, I'm being compelled to talk about it, so maybe it's going to resonate for some of you. Um, and actually, I forget the name of this bird. It's a, the brown... Mm -mm. Oh, it's going to make me crazy. It's the California brown... Shit. Crap. Okay, the name eludes me, but this is actually like an invasive species problem, uh, mostly pertaining to like deserty areas, California areas, southwestern areas. Uh, I'm sure they, it's also other parts of the world, but I know it, it, you know, I know it's a problem in this part of the world anyway, <clears throat> where there's a bird that waits and watches a different bird species, a different bird species. So we got two different bird species going on, and they watch the, these birds as they have their eggs and they're watching their eggs. Anytime they're not looking, uh, these birds swoop in, basically um, kick the eggs out of the nest. Oh yeah, kick the eggs out of the nest and put their own eggs in it and then bounce. <laughs> and then the bird that had their back turned for like just a moment, just a moment or went off to go feed itself or what have you, 
doesn't realize their eggs have been replaced. Oh, this is hitting home for some of you. I can feel it. Doesn't realize their eggs have been replaced. And then they actually just keep working on those eggs, keep working those eggs, right? Taking care of those eggs. And then they hatch. And it's like, where are my fucking babies? Like, where are my babies? It's like, I don't know why that's resonating for some of you, but they told me to talk about that. But that actually is an invasive species issue. And it's actually really unfortunate because the bird, they only attack certain species, um, very specific species. And these species are actually dying out because their eggs are literally being tossed out of the nest and replaced by other birds, this specific bird. Anyway, let's keep it moving. Um, so I actually do have more, Geminis, I do have more. Uh, during my uh, prepping of the deck, I used to do a pre-shuffle session for those who've been with me for a while, and I stopped doing them, but this, this is why I actually incorporated it, because I had repetitive cards come out, guys. Are you ready? Hierophant came out twice, Page of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. Oh yeah, Geminis, someone is like, that's my one, that's my one. They're, they're it like someone seriously like looking at you or you're looking at someone like that's the person I'm gonna marry that's the person I'm supposed to marry that's the person I'm really happy with and I need to make this happen I, now I'm feeling that crunch time energy too um and I do think there's gonna be a love letter involved in this I feel like someone's writing out their feelings trying to figure out what like the right words to say trying to figure out how to express themselves <clears throat> but I feel like there's a little bit of a struggle with that and especially with the pressure of time it's like Real, that's like adding on a little too much pressure for whoever's doing that and I do feel it's a love letter it could be love email <laughs> it could be love email or love dm but I do feel like it's written like they're writing their words out and it could just be to practice their words but it's about expressing love someone really wants to express love Gemini oh my god someone's like you're my one that's it you're my ten of cups I'm taking you home it's like it's very very uh like how do I say this it's aggressive but it's like sweet it's aggressive but it's sweet right oh yeah and then i saw a rose and a diamond you see why i had to write all this shit down <laughs> i was like by the time i got to like the news spreading and i could feel more stuff coming in i was like oh shit let me get my pen and paper out i saw a rose and a diamond okay uh, i do actually feel like some of you have these tattoos and if it's a if it's a diamond tattoo like it's just literally a diamond and you might actually have um what would you call that it's like patterning i'll just say patterning like if it were on a piece of paper, it would look like stenciling or something um, around it, uh, something of that nature. I actually don't think, okay, I'm getting all into your tattoo, sorry. Um, for those who have like color filled, it's like it's like a light blue or like a baby blue to emulate silver, but you don't really like the fill-in. I don't know why I'm feeling that. You don't really like the fill-in of it. Mo like, but I'm also picking up that some of you don't have it filled in at all. Like it's very three-dimensional. Anyway, um, what the hell? I can't read my own handwriting on this one. Give me a second. I hate when I can't read my own handwriting. You're, you're, I'm making out your. Let me fill in the blank here. Well, maybe you guys can read that. I feel like I've had to do this before. Can you guys read that? I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can. I know it has to do with the rose. Hold on, let me just get back into that energy. I know it has to do with the rose. Oh, it's about um like your beauty, your radiance. Someone's looking at you like they're just stunned. They're just stunned by your by your beauty. They're stunned by your radiance. They're entranced. You're it. You're the one. I'm taking you home. Okay? <laughs> Essentially. All right. That all being said, Geminis, let's go ahead and actually get into your reading. Now that we're almost 10 minutes in. Oh my god. All right, guys. So, for those of you who don't know, these are general readings and they do not apply to everybody. Um I, messages come through for those who need to hear them so if it doesn't resonate with you that's okay there are plenty of other readers who are getting different messages for different groups of gemini's it just wasn't your week if this message doesn't apply to you no need to spread spread any hate around if it ain't your message okay all right guys also keep in mind we, this is all energy this is reading energy energy can be vice versa meaning that the messages can be vice versa and that means it still resonates if it's hitting home with you okay also, guys, gender doesn't matter. We all have masculine, feminine energy, and we can all harness any sign energy as well. So I'm calling out different sign energy. It's just the energy that the person or you are harnessing, okay, regardless of your charts. <clears throat> okay, let's get into this now. Any messages for Geminis regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st? 
Any messages for Gemini's regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st? I just want somebody to go, oh my God, it's so much information already. <laughs> it is. I was, like I said, I was overwhelmed. For those of me for a while, I don't usually have to write stuff down, but that was a lot of stuff. That was a lot of stuff. Any messages for Gemini's? I just saw a zebra. I don't know why I feel very fiery with that. Why do I feel like a lot of fire energy with that? Maybe go with the fire sign. You could have that in your chart, but it's like, I don't, something about standing out. I feel, yeah. Gemini's, <clears throat> excuse me. Gemini's, I feel like someone's trying to stand out to you. Someone's trying to get your attention. Yeah, someone's trying to get your attention. Any messages for Gemini's? Any messages for Gemini's regarding love? August 22nd to the 31st. Oh, 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 the star, Aquarian energy. Some of you could be getting a hell of a lot of attention. I actually feel like this is almost like spotlight energy, spotlight energy, feeling blessed, feeling like your dreams are coming true, feeling like your wishes are coming true. Some of you could have just finished a very strong healing process. Oh, I'm getting more of that ancestral energy. Like those stars, I'm actually seeing them as orbs. I never see them as orbs. I've actually don't think I've ever even noticed them in this deck in this way, but I feel like they're actually orbs around you. Your ancestors are very close, Gemini, and I feel like they're doing a lot of talking, a lot of talking to you. For those who have come into success, come into any kind of like, I'm getting, honestly, I'm, guys, I'm getting stardom. I don't know what that's about. I'm getting stardom. Um, <clears throat> someone looks at you like you're a star. Someone looks at you like you're a star. Um, for those who are coming into success and abundance and stability, your ancestors are congratulating you, which is why they're so close. Any messages? You've gotten your flow down. Some of you have gotten your flow down. Sorry, they're bringing this to my attention. Some of you understand um, how much energy to give and how much energy to take in, in things that you do, in your relationships and people that you deal with. Very interesting. Some of you have achieved perfect balance, perfect flow. <clears throat> Any messages for Gemini? Those are for the overdoers. Sorry, they're talking to me. Those are for the overdoers, overachievers. No offense, I'm just telling you what I'm getting. <laughs> I just gotta get these messages out as they come to me. Any other messages for Geminis? Someone feels like their wishes are coming true, man. Seriously, this is beautiful energy, Gemini. I'm very excited. Very excited for you guys. Oh, three of pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy, didn't expect that. Oh, okay, because this is healing what's broken. Healing what's broken, healing what doesn't work, mending relationships where like you guys aren't really on the same page. Wanting to create a bridge too, actually, is what I just got to. Wanting to create a bridge. <clears throat> Someone's also breaking away from like a social group or a family. It feels like a multiple people dynamic. It could also just be a work environment, but someone's breaking away because you're following your dreams. Someone's breaking away because you're following your dreams. Any messages for Gemini's? Nothing wrong with that. Any messages for Gemini's regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st? <clears throat> Sorry guys, I know it's annoying, it annoys me too. <clears throat> Any messages for Gemini's regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st? <laughs> okay, so I haven't seen these cards yet, but we got a lot of cards that just came out. I'm getting, I'm picking up on masculine energy that's seeing a feminine energy in that like queen of pentacles vibration, kind of doing her thing, maybe even like shining a little bit extra, right, than normal. And I just, <laughs> it's like, they're not saying this, they're keeping this to themselves. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're keeping this to themselves. And they're just like, damn, she's a badass bitch. It's like, <laughs> they're just kind of like taken aback. They're kind of taken aback. It's kind of funny though. It's very cute. All right, so let's see what we got here. There's the news spreading, man. Page of Wands. Wow, Ace of Swords. Hierophant in reverse, Taurian energy. So glad to see that come out again. Four of Cups in reverse, Cancerian energy. And the Queen of Cups in reverse, more Cancerian energy. Could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Wow, this is news of someone being rejected. <clears throat> This is interesting, Gemini's. Um, someone's coming into some major success, major power, major healing, shining very hella bright, shining very bright and rising, rising in their career, rising in their life, rising in their spirituality. 
And yet there's news here that someone's been rejected. There's news here that someone is hurting from a rejection, could even be um, a divorce or a separation of some kind. Basically, a contract has been severed. A contract has been severed, someone's rejected, someone's feeling pain, and there's news of this spreading. Fat, I heard wildfire. It's spreading like wildfire. You could be getting this news about someone, Gemini's, or unfortunately, you know, a contract of some sort or an agreement of some sort could be severed with you and news of that is getting spread out. This is interesting. All right, let's keep it going. <clears throat> Any other messages for Gemini's regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st? But it's definitely a severing of, a severing of. Any other messages for Gemini's regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st? Gemini's, honestly, you could have broken away from someone quietly and they're just getting the memo. Let's see here. Wow. Four of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy, and the Three of Swords in reverse, Libra energy. This is healing. This is healing and letting go of shit. Healing and letting go. Someone is healing and letting go of the fact that they've had a, a, an agreement, a relationship, a contract severed, and there's a lot of healing and rising because of that. Someone's broken away. Someone's broken away, and this is, I'm getting different messages for different people, so hang in there. Um, someone could have broken away from someone or relationship or situation secretly and now word is getting out but because you kept it a secret you're already healed you're already rising you're already in success in success mode but at the end of the day there's a lot of healing going on in this situation for everyone which is good that's always good overall energy nine of cups piscean energy could also be water or fire underneath that oh my goodness eight of pentacles virgo energy and then we've got the eight of wands sag energy Gemini's. Gemini's. Someone's coming in really quick to work on something, to talk about something, to get something moving with you. I feel like this is energy coming into you and you're being confronted with it. You're being confronted with it. Um, I want to break down these energies more, but for some of you, whatever this news is, it's allowing you to come into a star energy, regardless of whatever this news is, Gemini's. It's working in your favor. You're in a good place, regardless of how the situation applies to you, okay? If this is resonating with you. But someone's coming in, Gemini. Someone's coming in to talk. Someone's coming in to build. Someone's coming in to provide love, stability, and passion in some shape or form. In some shape or form. So let's break down these energies a little bit more. <clears throat> really want to look at this. I really want to look at this. Let's look at the star. I'm going to use right away to clarify. Tell me about the star. Tell me about the star. For Gemini, I just heard Aquarius. Tell me about the star for Gemini regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about the star for Gemini regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Ah, oh. <clears throat> Tell me about the star for Gemini regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Okay. Gems, all of a sudden it got really freaking hot. Woo! Some of you guys might be having hot flashes. I don't know what that was, but all of a sudden I felt heat just rush up my back out of my head. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Tell me about the star. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I, why do I feel like this is like secret? Gemini's, you or someone you're connected to has been trying to keep whatever this star energy is under wraps, like success under wraps, stardom under wraps, healing under wraps. I just, it's almost like a don't look at me, look at, look over there energy. <clears throat> yeah, don't look at me, look over there. Don't look at me, look over there. Tell me about the star. Tell me about the star. A lot of envious energy too, Gemini, so be careful of that. A lot of envious energy. Tell me about the star. Wow. Strength. Leo energy and the Ten of Cups in reverse. Piscean, Piscean energy here. Don't look at me. Look over there. Someone's trying to gain their confidence. Someone's trying to gain their strength here to heal a family situation. For some, it's trying to remove themselves from a family situation or remove themselves from a home environment. 
someone's also trying to like how do i say this tame these envious energies take everything as it resonates guys i get multiple messages for different people i'm also getting an energy of someone's trying to tame tame envious greedy energy around them but i think they're doing it by separating themselves i think they're doing it by separating themselves Let's see what else we got here Climb out the star. Climb out the star for Gemini regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Climb out the star for Gemini regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Let's see here. Five of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. Wow, Gemini, some of you are really getting out of a, a really unfortunate situation where there was a whole lot of scarcity like scarcity mindset, scarcity mentality, greedy energy. Some, some I'm also getting a little bit of a depressive environment, depressive environment. I think some of you thought I said oppressive, depressive, depressive environment. But you have the strength, guys. You have the strength and it's like, it's doing wonders for you. It's putting you in a place to succeed. It's putting you in a place to finally rise, ascend. Some of you are going through an ascension process. Uh, some of you are finishing. I just heard finishing. Finishing, finishing an ascension process, and this is the last step to remove yourself from people who are envious, to remove yourself from people um, that don't have your best loyalties at heart. You could be the one severing this major contract or relationship here or marriage for some. Overall energy for the star, Hierophant in reverse, Taurian energy. Underneath that, we have the Nine of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. Gems, I really feel like you're the one severing this contract, this agreement, this relationship. You're the one severing it and it's making someone very upset. But it's in your best interest. It's very clear. It's in your best interest and it's going to allow so many opportunities to come in for you, Gemini. I think it's even going to catch you off by surprise. And once this happens, word of this is going to spread quick. So be mindful of that. Be very mindful of that. It's going to happen real fucking fast. Real fast. Wow. All right. So let's keep it moving to the severing, if I could hold this up, to the severing of whatever this is, the severing of this marriage, relationship, agreement, contract. It definitely feels like in the realm of some kind of agreement to something, some obligation. Thank you. Obligation and commitment, whatever that is for you, whether it's work, whether it's family, just a relationship um, or a marriage. Okay. I want to look at the Ace of Swords because there's a lot of truth coming into this. A lot of truth here. Um, Oh, Legacy's calling me. Let's do Legacy. Talk about the Ace of Swords. Talk about the Ace of Swords. Gemini, you could be severing this relationship to go get someone else. Or someone could be severing this relationship to come and get you. Keep that in mind, okay? Talk about Ace of Swords. Cause yeah, yeah, for some I'm getting an ending of a third party situation. Some of you are waiting on someone to like end an obligation, a relationship, or a marriage. It's over. It's over and now they're coming in really quick, okay? Keep in mind when there's third party energies or more than one people, one more than one people, more, <laughs> more than one person involved in a situation, you could be any one of these people. Tie about the Ace of Swords. Tie about the Ace of Swords for Gemini regarding love. I feel like there was also some financial... Yeah, okay. For those where this is a romantic relationship that's being severed or even even a family relationship, I'll say in the realm of family because even if you're in a romantic situation or you're married, that's technically family, right? I feel like there was quite a greedy, moochy kind of a person here. I'm feeling a lot of shopping sprees, credit card use, like that kind of energy. Someone didn't know who they were getting involved with. Someone did not know who they were getting involved with. Tell me about Ace of Swords for Gemini. I just heard deception. Yeah. Tell me about Ace of Swords for Gemini regarding love. August 22nd to the 31st. Okay. <clears throat> Tell me about Ace of Swords for Gemini regarding love. Wow, Six of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy could also be past life karmic soulmate energy. There's just a lot of unhappiness here, and that's the truth. 
whatever this this agreement connection is being severed whatever that is it was really an it was a really unhappy situation really unhappy situation i feel like for some it was really ongoing for a very long time very hard to get out of is also what i'm getting very hard to get out of very hard to sever this could have been a long process that was kept under wraps but now that it's over news of it is spreading let's see what we got here oh there's that queen of pentacles queen of pentacles capricorn energy could also be earth or water with the hangman in reverse, Piscean energy, and then we have the star in reverse, Aquarian energy. Really? Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is the one being chased after, actually. So, Geminis, how it, take this as it resonates. This Queen of Pentacles is the one getting chased after. I feel like this Queen of Cups is the one that's getting cut out. For a lot of you, this is a third-party situation where someone's chasing after you because they were with someone they shouldn't have been with. Um, or you're chasing after someone because you were with someone that you shouldn't have been with. This could even just be in the form of business, like going from one company to another, going from one business partner to another. But Queen of Pentacles, that's usually a perfect spouse kind of energy, perfect wife, perfect husband, um, someone who really does it all. She's my multitasking queen because she's very nurturing. She takes care of the household, but she also takes care of the business. <laughs> she usually works and does a lot of shit at home. It's usually the Queen of Pentacles, very sweet energy, very, um, also very firm, very firm energy, like the kind of person where it's like, they're kind and they're sweet, but don't fucking cross them. It's that kind of energy. Too busy for nonsense. Too busy for nonsense. Anyway, that's just the energy of the per this person I'm picking up on. So Hangman in reverse, Piscean energy with the star in reverse. Someone's realizing that there's healing needed with this Queen of Pentacles, okay? Yeah. Wanting to mend a situation with a Queen. Yeah, someone's wanting to mend a situation with a Queen of Pentacles as they're leaving a Queen of Cups. Wow very interesting but i feel like this queen of pentacles is really is actually very busy i do i'm like i feel like this queen of pentacles is a very 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 busy person uh really focused on their own life i feel like this person's working a lot working a lot and getting a lot of recognition for their work yeah i'm like i'm feeling strong like this queen of pentacles for some is really succeeding at whatever it is they do whatever their craft is whatever their craft is Talking about the ace of swords Talking about the Ace of Swords. Oh, wow. Talking about the Ace of Swords for Gemini. Talking about the Ace of Swords for Gemini. Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Shh. Wow, if this isn't clear enough, man. Look at that. Nine of Swords, Gemini energy, and the Seven of Cups, Scorpionic energy. Someone is so overwhelmed with anxiety, fear of what to do here. I'm also getting that someone's worried that this Queen of Pentacles has a lot of options. And to be honest, I think this Queen does. But I feel like they're so focused on work that they're not taking their options too serious. Yeah, I feel like this Queen of Pentacles might have some romantic options. But again, it's not serious because this Queen of Pentacles is focused on their work. But someone's really worried. Someone's like, damn, did I miss my chance with the Queen of Pentacles? Are they dating? Are they seeing people? I bet they're seeing a lot of people. They're so awesome. It's like that bad, I just heard badass bitch again, that badass bitch again. Um, someone's really worried. And it's this person who's getting out of this agreement, commitment, or marriage here. Overall energy, Knight of Wands. Sagittarian energy could also be Aries or Leo. Yeah, whoever this knight is, man, they're coming for the Queen of Pentacles. This knight is coming fast very fast for the queen of pentacles to build to talk to get shit moving i do feel a little bit of pressure though and i'm not liking that um my queen of pentacles who are watching this night might put a lot of pressure on you because they're panicked look at their energy look at this they're panicked they're panicked because they had to deal with this they had to get out of this situation first okay <sighs> jesus they really, they really feel like they, they might have lost their chance already, and they're really scared. Look at this energy, too, on the star. The Nine of Swords and Hierophant in reverse. They're worried. They're worried how long this took to get out. Um, they're worried about where this Queen of Pentacles is at in their life and what they're doing. But news of this is spreading really fast. News of this severing of this agreement, this contract, this marriage. And then we end with the Four of Pentacles in reverse and the Three of Swords in reverse. So again, healing, healing, endings of third parties, and really letting some baggage go, really letting some baggage go. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's look at the Three of Swords. Let's look at the Three of Swords and then we'll pull some advice. You know Gilded, I haven't used Gilded yet for this reading. Tell me about Three of Swords in reverse. 
So I got three of swords in reverse. Oh, I'm, I'm hearing this knight's inner dialogue. It's too late. It's too late. Some are thinking it's too late, but clearly they're going to try anyway. They're going to try anyway. Tell me about three of swords in reverse for Gemini regarding love. August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about three of swords in reverse for Gemini regarding love. August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about three of swords in reverse. <laughs> page of wands. That same page of wands, that news. The news of this third party ending. The news, <clears throat> the news of healing happening and taking place. Queen of Pentacles, they're going to come straight to you and probably just tell you this. Oh, wow. Page of Wands and Seven of, and seven of Cups, uh, Scorpionic Energy. I'm feeling confusion with this, actually. This is interesting. Queen of Pentacles, this is going to cause some confusion for you when you hear this. Some of you didn't know about this third party. I think that's why it's causing confusion. Some of you didn't know about this third party, and then it might actually upset you to be like, this shit was kept from me this whole time. This shit was a secret this whole time. How did I not see it? Why the fuck would you tell me this now? Sorry, I'm like, I'm, I'm feeling your upsetness. <laughs> your upsetness. Uh, yeah, it's just, I'm not liking that energy. I'm not liking that energy at all. I'm also getting that zebra energy again. This knight is gonna step to this queen of pentacles and they're gonna try to be like a little bolstery. I feel actually a little bit of cockiness now. Oh, it's a, it's a reaction to the situation. Okay. Um, cockiness is going to come through because they're actually really fucking scared. <laughs> they're actually really scared and really insecure that they've already lost you, my queen of pentacles. Um, so they might act a little cocky about it. So be mindful of that. Okay. For some, I'm also getting a bit of a play up. Like, I can give you this. I can give you that. I can give you everything. Like, very fantastical kind of way of speaking. And Queen of Pentacles doesn't do fantastical. So it's like this. Yeah, I feel like Queens, are, you might, you're going to have a weird reaction to this. You're going to have a really weird reaction to this. Tell me about Three of Swords in reverse. Oh, I just heard, I don't, uh, yeah. Some of you are going to be like, I don't know what to believe from you anymore. Especially those who didn't know about this third party. Tell me about Three of Swords in reverse. For Gemini's. Tell me about Three of Swords in reverse for Gemini's regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Oh. <clears throat> Tell me about Three of Swords in reverse. Tell me about Three of Swords in reverse for Gemini's regarding love. Oh, there's the King of Pentacles. Tell me about Three of Swords in reverse. For some, there could be a child involved in this. That you also didn't know about yeah yeah for some there's a child in this and i don't think many of you knew about that king of pentacles in reverse taurian energy could also be earth or air strength in reverse leo energy <laughs> not a wands sag energy could also be aries or leo and then very interesting we end with page of cups and not page of cups well page of pentacles Page of Pentacles in reverse with the Knight of, not Knight, King, Jesus, sorry guys. Uh, King of Wands in reverse. Leo energy could also be air, air, eh, air or fire, air or fire. This is your Knight though. This is your Knight. Now they're coming across as Kings. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, Queens, you're not liking how this person's stepping to you. You're not liking this. Well, the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Strength card in reverse, I just feel like they're not grounded. I feel like they're really coming in through panic. They're coming in with panic. <laughs> with panic and like a need to control the situation. Yeah, they're panicking, they're freaking out. They're trying to regain control of the situation because they feel like queens, queen, my queen of pentacles, that you slip through their fingers. If I have any queen of cups watching, I'm sorry. I know this sucks. Everything happens for a reason, okay? Consider yourself free. Um, but with this energy, it's like a need to control. I, I need to I need I need to get you back, my Queen of Pentacles. I need to regain the control of the situation because you're slipping away and I can't have that. I I can't have that. I'm just I'm I can't have that. Just quite simply, I can't have that happen. And then we have the Knight of Wands. 
with Page of Pentacles in reverse and uh, the King of Wands in reverse. I'm not liking this energy either because they're coming in really passionately. Keep in mind, they're also coming across as a Knight of Cups. Um, they're coming across really passionately, but with this energy, it's more of that panic. It's more of that, I need to control. I need to control. I need you in my life. I need this. It's a little possessive. It's possessive and it's coming out of panic and insecurity. That's not exactly the greatest energy to get someone back, you know, to try to get someone back. I feel like the person they were dealing with before, the person they were dealing with before in this situation, um, I feel like was someone who's very codependent. Oh, and manipulative. Wow. I kind of feel for this Queen of Cups. For this person where something's being severed, um, there's a little bit of emotional manipulation behind it. But I feel like it's because this person's codependent. Like, they don't know they do this. Like, they don't know they emotionally manipulate. Wow, I kind of feel for them. But anyway, yeah, this is not the greatest energy for them to be coming in. They're coming in out of panic to just try to like get you back as quickly as they possibly can. It feels very possessive. Overall energy for the three of swords in reverse, five of swords in reverse, uh, Venus and Aquarian energy. So forgiveness and acceptance. Forgive forgiveness is happening. Forgiveness is happening here. And you know, with my queens, my queen of pentacles, you guys are very grounded in this energy. You're very grounded in your own energy and you're coming into a lot of success. A lot of you already have it. You're shining very bright and your intuition is very on point. Your intuition is very on point and you don't have a problem forgiving this person. But I don't think you're taking them back. I don't think you're taking them. I don't think you're accepting their offer. They're just coming in a little too eager. You know what I mean? And that's like the red flag for you. Like you're just a little too goddamn eager for this. They definitely want to put a ring on it though. They want to put a ring on it. And you are cut from the same cloth. You're definitely cut from the same cloth. You're a true pair soulmates at the very least at the very least but yeah i can tell queens you're not liking this you know i don't normally do this but something's telling me to so i'm just gonna roll with it i'm gonna use steampunk um to see basically how my queen of pentacles are going to be reacting to this even more uh so what will the queen of pentacles do after this approach What will my Queen of Pentacles do after this approach? How will they react to this King of Pentacles? Will they accept the King of Pentacles offer? Can I have the Queen of Pentacles? Can I have the Queen of Pentacles? Will they be accepting this offer? Can I have the Queen of Pentacles? Will they be accepting this offer? Time of the Queen of Pentacles, will they be accepting this offer? <laughs> wow. Uh, Page of Swords in reverse with the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. The Queen doesn't trust this King. By the way, King of Cups is Scorpionic energy. King of Pentacles is Taurian energy. Both are air energy, but this is also water and earth, okay? Yeah, very mistrusting. Very mistrusting. Um, I feel like by the end of this, this queen needs time to think about it. Let's see what else we get. But yeah, it's there's just a hell of a lot of mistrust there. Because, I mean, so much is coming out where it's like the queen's like, well, you've already lied about so many things or you kept us so many secrets. Why would I trust you? Will this queen accept this king's offer? Will this queen accept this king's offer? Let's see here. Wow, and then we have the emperor in reverse. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy, and then the world, fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, which rolls Capricorn. This king is coming into a whole new chapter of themselves, and I do feel like this king is changing because it's like they went from a knight to a king to an emperor. That's a major elevation, and the world is basically indicative of starting something brand spanking new, something starting something that is completely life-changing, and not in a small way. That's like a lifelong cycle opening, not like for the next year. This is like talking for like the next de decade or so kind of a cycle. And on the bottom, we have Knight of Wands. This queen has not decided yet. 
this queen's gonna have to think about it this queen's gonna think about it all right okay let's pull some advice here for my gemini's any advice for my gemini's regarding this spread 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 you know i'm also picking okay wow i just got another major download i was like i'm picking up and then boom it just hit me <laughs> my queen of pentacles for some of you this is a contract that was already severed a while ago with you and this person and the secret and the secret is it was a big fat mistake and which is why they want to heal it with you that they need to heal it with you realizing they let go of something that was very spiritual something that was very divine and it's like they're they're figuring that out it's like news of that is spreading because they're actually getting this they're actually getting this their intuition is on is on point with this now they're actually understanding what the fuck happened and like and what they did was a mistake sorry i'm like i'm cussing a lot today for some reason and that what they did was a mistake and their guides are basically telling them that they're finally seeing it that's for some of you that's for some of you and this emotional manipulation i was picking up on this codependency i think you probably were a little codependent in the past and maybe that's why they might have severed things with you and then you grew you changed you worked on yourself um but I think they perceived you as being emotionally manipulative for those in that scenario. Um, they perceived you as being emotionally manipulative, but that wasn't correct. That was their own shit. That was their own baggage. Any other advice for my Geminis? Whoa. Not taking those. Those just fell out of my hand. Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Yeah, and the news that they're getting is basically just the stone cold truth. <laughs> you know what I mean? For, again, for those in that situation oh wow yeah queens this is your advice here fox spirit think on your feet 27 breaking down to a nine and skunk spirit know your worth 54 breaking down to a, a, a nine here so you got two nines this is completions completion energy queens you're gonna be caught off guard and you're gonna have to be very smart about this and it's gonna come down to what you know you deserve and what your val and how your value how you value yourself Jesus how you value yourself and what you want oh, Jesus how you want to be valued <laughs> how you want to excuse me be valued you're gonna have to play this smart though Fox is usually a very Gemini in card for me actually as a reader um, because they are very smart they are very quick um, and they can change on a dime if they have to and that's not a, that's I'm not talking shit, okay? It's just sometimes, you know, you're just adaptable, Geminis. You're just adaptable. You bring out whatever twin you need to bring out, okay? Um, but yeah, you're gonna have to play this really, really smart, queens. Really, really smart. Use your intuition with this. That's really gonna help you. And your intuition's on point. It's on point. Yeah, I can feel it. You're just like, they want this a little too much. They want this a little too bad. A little too eager. And they're definitely going to try to pressure you. Yeah, see, all right, my queen of pentacles, that's also more of this pressure energy. They're going to want a quick decision from you. Oh, shit, I'm going to have to make two videos on this and stitch them together. You guys got a long reading this time. Yeah, they're going to want, want a very quick answer out of you. Don't let them pressure you. They can wait. They, they look, clearly left you waiting. <laughs> clearly, right? They can wait. Any advice for my Gemini's? Regarding this spread. Any advice for my Gemini's? Regarding this spread. They do got a lot of love for you though, I gotta say. They've got a lot of love for you, they do. Any advice for my Gemini's regarding this spread? Wow oh shit okay that was not what i was expecting okay spirit i see what you're doing any advice for my gemini's regarding this spread yeah when they try to pressure you i actually think this is just my advice you do not have to take my advice you are the masters of your own life okay you make your own decisions you know you best you know your life best you know what's going to work for you best but I feel like for some of you, what's actually going to benefit you when they try to pressure you into making a decision to challenge them on that, challenge them on that because you do know your freaking worth. 
you do know your worth. And it's like, wait a minute, you think you're gonna try to put stipulations on me and try to make pressure me into making a choice? No, that's not how this shit's gonna work. <laughs> put them in their place a little bit on that. All right, and then we have, you guys ready for this? I was like, oh, spirit, shit. <laughs> Grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith, 30 breaking down to a three and ant spirit, time to collaborate with the energy of one. Guys, this is spirit's advice. Again, this is just an opportunity. You don't have to take it. You're the masters of your own life. You do what you wanna do. I am just the messenger. This advice is basically saying to go for it. This advice is saying, work with this person, hear this person out. Don't let them boss you around. Don't let them push you into something that you're not ready for, but to give this a shot, to give this a shot because it's worth taking a shot with this. And overall, we have dog spirit. Be loyal to what you love. 19, breaking down to um, a cyclical energy. And we saw a lot of that, right? And we got the world with this person. And they are coming into a whole new perspective on things. They see shit now. They got out of something that wasn't conducive to them. For those where you're in that situation where they severed things with you and now like, boop, light bulb is on. They know where your loyalties lie now. They know that you're loyal to them and that they should have been more loyal to you. Okay? They know that you're a loyal partner. That's why you're coming across as the Queen of Pentacles. They know you're loyal. Queen of Pentacles is like a ride or die chick. Or, or guy. <laughs> or guy. Um, and they do love you. And it's like, shit. My Queen of Pentacles was loyal to me, is loyal to me, because they love me. But see, Queen of Pentacles, because you know your worth, you gave that love to yourself when this person was doing whatever crazy shit they were doing with this other agreement or severing this agreement with you and then going about their merry way. You gave that love to yourself first and foremost, which is what makes you valuable, right? You know your worth. They know your worth. Don't let them pressure you. But they're realizing, shit, I need to be loyal to me. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry, second video. Um, I need to be loyal to the people that really love me and the people that I really love. The people that are of my flock. The people that are of my feathers, right? Where did that king go? Well, I guess we got the king of pentacles twice, but I'll just choose this one. Because you guys are the same feathers <laughs> so to speak you are from the same flock they realized they were flying with the wrong birds they realized their eggs got replaced or some shit you know whatever that analogy would be i don't know how to make that analogy work but i had to say that story for a reason underneath that look the intuition card truth transcends illusion with the energy of 22 truth the truth of where people's loyalties really lie and where love for people real love unconditional love this queen is knows what unconditional love is and i think that this queen really does love this king unconditionally but that doesn't mean sacrificing themselves that doesn't mean getting into something that's not healthy for them because this queen puts herself first and as most people should as we all should right but with this in, intuit intuitive energy it's also really saying that queens you're gonna know what to do you're going to know what to do about this. Even if you need a little time, just don't let this person pressure you. Okay? Wow. Gemini's. That was intense and like probably one of the longest weeklies I've done in a long time. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Bye, Gemini's. Namaste.